谁为爱世人愿舍身？这礼物化作活存的心灵。幸福是接受和活出这礼物的真谛，教我学习，爱到通时就如遇见主。人一生最愚钝，艳阳纵使多耀眼，如若没爱，仿佛天空阻隔了光线的障碍。请洁净我心眼，长留着爱的恩泉。清澈璀璨。佢生于十九世纪末嘅波兰，经历咗两次世界大战。Of all the saints, he is the patron saint of a difficult century。佢多才多艺，先后创办杂志、电台同埋管理一所大型修院。佢做嘅一切都系源于一份执着。如果你睇佢啲相咧，係好多都已經係好似誒皺埋眉啊，誒兩隻眼好似好有火咁樣去望住你，好似想想揦啲嘢落去你嗰度咁樣嘅，好似想將呢個世界都燃起咁樣。喺佢一生人裏邊，誒嗰份嘅執著，愛天主嘅執著咧，係俾我哋現今世代一個好重要嘅信息。愛係永遠時時刻刻，每個空間、每個地方都係有可能。佢嘅動力來自天上嘅母親。圣母玛利亚。Our Lady for him was the companion twenty-four seven, twenty-four hours a day. With Our Lady, he shared his dreams, his sufferings, his hopes. 佢系圣高比，圣母嘅骑士。耶稣曾经讲过。冇一样爱情伟大得过为自己嘅朋友舍弃生命。究竟有几多个人能够做到呢一样嘢咧？圣 Maximilian Kolbe 圣高比就系其中嘅一个。I wish I could kneel at your grave and pray to you, but you have no burial place. Your body was reduced to ashes in the Auschwitz crematorium. Whoever wants to find you must look for you in the divine realm of love. 二零一六年唔单止系天主教会嘅慈悲禧年，对方济会亦都系特别值得纪念嘅一年。This year is a very special year、uh, because we're celebrating the 75th anniversary of the martyrdom of Saint Maximilian Kolbe. This is、um, an important event not only in the life of the church because this saint was declared by John Paul II the patron saint of a very difficult century, but also for us because he was one of our confreres. 趁住圣高比殉道七十五周年，方济会住院会士特别将佢嘅圣毒带到美加唔同嘅城市，让信众能够恭敬佢，寻求佢嘅代祷。I did a little novena to Maximilian Kolbe. I know he's a patron saint of addictions, drugs. I have a son who's addicted to computers, many years, and、uh, it's causing a it's, it's causing a lot of pain. So what I did was I took the little novena prayer to addiction of drugs, and I changed the words and I put in his name. So today I said the ninth day. 装住圣高比圣毒嘅圣毒盒。原来系按照佢一生嘅经历设计嘅，当中有多重象征意义。If you look at the relic itself, it was designed at the time he was、um, beatified in 1971. The base of the relic、um, is the outline of the present-day Poland, and from、um, the base there are thorns that represent the time of、uh, of occupation. The time of suffering, and、uh, those thorns then give rise to two wonderful flowers, and、uh, those flowers represent the martyrdom in the tulip, and the purity of of Saint Maximilian in the lily, and between those two flowers that he represents both in his martyrdom and his purity. You see, there is a round、um, a container, a diamond cross, on which are, are found strands of his beard. 长年生活喺战乱嘅阴影之下，因着对天主同埋圣母嘅热切信赖，而用尽唔同方式去传福音。
，最后更加喺二次世界大战中殉道。呢、这个就系圣高比嘅一生。为咗认识圣高比，我哋特登嚟到呢一度，邻近美国芝加哥嘅 Mary Town， 圣高比朝圣地。Mary Town 系方济住院会士嘅修院，同时亦都开放俾个人或者团体做备证。当然，我哋特登由多伦多揸八个几钟头车程嚟到呢度，系因为呢度俾美国主教团定为圣高比嘅国家朝圣地。Antonella 同埋 Brother Martin 系我哋喺 Mary Town 嘅响度。喺认识高比神父嘅生平之前，佢哋先带我哋去一个重要嘅地方。喺慈悲禧年，教宗方济各让各个地方教会喺主教座堂同埋一啲有特别意义嘅圣堂设立慈悲之门，鼓励多啲人去朝圣。而芝加哥总教区就拣选咗 Mary Town 作为其中一个设立圣门嘅朝圣地。This doors have been blessed, and walking through these doors and fulfilling the requirements indicated for the jubilee year. We may gain the plenary indulgence for ourselves or for the deceased. Pope Francis indicated as a special, uh, unique uh, invitation requirement for the Jubilee of Mercy, whose theme is to be merciful like the Father is merciful, that we also commit to practicing mercy. To practice in the spiritual and the,、uh, corporal works of mercy. 穿越过圣门，我哋嚟到呢座美轮美奂、仿照罗马圣保禄城外大殿兴建嘅圣堂。喺圣堂嘅墙上边，有一啲描绘圣高比生平嘅马赛克镶嵌画。圣高比同圣母嘅密切关系，原来喺佢童年嘅时候已经展开。喺佢十歲嘅時候咧，佢曾經咧就做咗一啲嘢，令到佢媽媽就好唔開心。咁佢媽媽咧就同佢講：佢話你大個會變成點樣咧？咁因為咁樣咧，高比神父咧就跑咗去聖堂嗰度，就跪咗喺聖母面前，就問佢究竟我大個會變成點樣？咁聖母就顯示咗兩個皇冠，一個紅色，一個白色，象徵住一個就係誒宣道嘅誒嘅嘅路程啦，一個就係修道嘅路程。白色咧就代表純潔。紅色咧就代表血，咁高比神父喺嗰一刻，誒天主嘅恩寵就推動佢，就回應就係話：我兩個都要曬。Shortly after, a few days later, his mom noticed a major change in the boy, and he was more recollected, very obedient, and began to inquire and ask, "What's going on with you? You should tell your mom what happened." And so the little boy, kind of in a shy way, revealed to his mom. We know about this because、uh, Saint Maximilian's mother revealed this only after Maximilian's martyr in Auschwitz. He never, never spoke about it to anyone except his mom when he was a little boy. But she carried this big secret in her heart for her whole life and revealed it only after the fact. After, in fact, Maximilian had become a martyr, and she said, "I, I knew all the, all the time." <laughs> That my son had been destined for、um, giving witness to Christ to the point of shedding his blood. 一九零七年，十三岁嘅圣高比同大佢两年嘅哥哥一齐加入方济住院小兄弟会。修院位于利维夫，当时隶属奥匈帝国。由于冇身份证明文件，佢同哥哥要匿藏喺比禾秆草覆盖嘅木头车上边。冒险越过当时由苏联统治嘅波兰国界，进入奥匈帝国，先至能够加入修院。圣高比原本个名咧就系叫做 Raymond 嘅，咁佢到咗入咗呢、這个呢、呃這个方济国嘅嘅修院里边咧，佢嘅院长佢入会嘅时候咧就俾咗 Maximilian 呢个名佢。咁 Maximilian 呢个名诶，笼统嚟讲咧，就系、是、话最大或者最伟大嘅意思。咁佢領領受呢個名係佢好佢好欣然咁領受呢個名，唔係因為佢自大，唔係覺得佢自己係最叻嗰、那個。佢領受呢個名咧，正正就因為佢個人生個目標就係要以最大嘅方法、最偉大嘅方法去光榮天主
。咁佢所以佢自己諗就係、是呃、最偉大去光榮天主嘅方法咧，就係、是呃、成為聖人啦，即係佢自己首先要成為聖人。咁但係一個聖人誒唔、呃、夠兩個聖人咁好，兩個聖人咧就唔夠誒一百萬個聖人咁好。咁所以佢就係想全世界越嚟越多人會變成聖人。咁所以領受呢個名其實係誒俾我哋睇到佢個人係好好 intense 嘅，即係好激烈嘅對天主嘅愛。佢係想去到盡誒無保留地將佢嘅誒天主嘅美善誒發揚光大。由於佢有呢個遠大嘅目標，聖高比曾經諗過好多方法去達成，包括研究天文、機械工程、發明無線電接聽器。甚至认真考虑过离开修会加入波兰嘅军队。十八岁嘅时候，天资聪颖嘅圣高比被修会派到去罗马进修。喺罗马几年嘅所见所闻，对佢有好大嘅影响。咁到到最后，佢系听咗几个故事，令到佢觉得啊，呢、这个呢、这个就系最快可以诶将人带去天主嗰度啦。就系、是、佢发现咗圣母嘅威力。咁第一个触动佢咧，就系呢一个。誒骨塔碌皮嗰個聖母嘅顯現，聖母顯現之前呢個係誒十六世紀嘅時候啦。誒就係其實嗰陣時方濟各會士同埋呢個道明會士咧，都已經喺墨西哥咧有成十年噶啦。咁佢哋誒嘅呢個復傳嘅進展好慢，即係過咗咁耐時間咧，都其實唔係咁多人係歸依咗呢個誒基督宗教。咁但係因為聖母嘅顯現，顯現俾誒漢字一個咧，咁竟然喺幾年之內咧，一千萬人歸依咗基督，咁係令到佢好震撼，就係、是、咁短時間點解會有咁大嘅轉變，就係、是、因為聖母。誒<音樂>，另外一個經歷亦都係誒有關呢個聖路易誒蒙福、聖蒙福，咁佢就教導人以三十三天嘅誒嘅敬禮咧。誒將自己完全咁透過聖母交俾主耶穌，咁聖母福嘅核心嘅思想就係話，正正因為誒聖母咧係孕育咗耶穌，咁耶穌嘅最最想最想就係我哋變成，亦都好似耶穌一樣，同佢合而為一。咁與其我哋自己努力去用自己嘅方法去嘗試去做呢樣嘢咧，誒聖母福嘅教導咧就係聖母誒，因為已經俾咗我哋作為我哋嘅母親咧。誒，佢進入我哋變成耶穌，誒會更準確同埋更快更安全。咁同埋第三個佢嘅經歷咧，就係佢聽到一個故事，係誒有關一個猶太人咧，佢個名叫做 Alphonse， 佢都已經誒唔再信，唔再信主噶啦，唔唔再誒去誒跟隨猶太教嘅教導嘅。咁佢個。兄弟咧 ，Theodor 咧，誒就轉咗做天主教，並誒並且咧做咗神父。咁呢樣嘢就令到佢呢個變成無神論嘅人咧，就好憎恨呢個天主教嘅嗰時。Alphonse Ratisbon was challenged by a friend, a Catholic good friend, Baron, to accept the medal of Our Lady and to say a little prayer. He accepted the medal just to get rid of his good friend. 誒話説有一日佢去到羅馬，誒、这、呢個聖安祖嘅呢個 Basilica 嘅時候咧，誒就見到聖母。And he said she didn't say anything, but I understood everything. He received the miraculous infusion of understanding of the Catholic faith. He asked to be baptized, and he went eventually on to becoming even a priest. 咁我相信呢三樣嘢咧，就令到佢。意識到，如果佢要達到佢人生嘅目標，就係、是、令到誒更多嘅人誒追隨主耶穌咧，最有效、最安全、最快嘅方法咧，就如聖蒙福所講，就係、是、將佢哋帶到去聖母嗰度。我自己有陣時都會有少 confuse， 就係話我哋個信仰係天主。但係 ，on the other hand 咧，我哋好多時候咧就擺咗好多 emphasis 喺聖母嗰度，咁到底係點樣樣嘅咧？好多時啲人誤解咧，就係、是、誒、呃，我哋有耶穌基督，佢嚟到我哋喺誒聖經裏邊，我哋睇到佢哋我哋唯一嘅中保，意思即係話耶穌基督係天主同埋人類中間唯一嘅橋梁。咁好多時啲人就會質疑，就係話點解天主教？
會講咁多有關聖母，甚至話獻身於聖母，好似同聖經裏面嘅教導好相反。咁但係我哋首先要了解到聖母嘅責任係乜嘢，咁亦都要了解到誒點解耶穌誒揀咗聖母，點解會揀咗聖母？第一就係、是、天主想我哋唔好咁怕佢，佢俾咗聖母做第一個完全了解耶穌嘅門徒。耶穌誒揀咗十二個中途，亦都有成誒好多好多嘅門徒喺佢在世嘅時候跟隨佢，但其實喺佢在世嘅時候冇一個明白佢，所以耶穌俾誒人拉嘅時候咧，佢哋全部都走曬。但係聖母係唯一個門徒。係唯一一個完全係人嘅，係完全了解天主嘅慈悲。由一開始到到耶穌嘅十字架嘅腳下咧，聖母都知道了解。咁所以聖母俾我哋睇到嘅咧，就唔係去阻住我哋去接近耶穌，反而去俾我哋第一個完全信賴主耶穌嘅一個模範，俾我哋知道完全依賴耶穌、信靠天主係有可能。佢俾我哋做出一個榜樣。献身于圣母系圣高比信仰嘅核心。简单嚟讲，献身于圣母就系仿效圣约望中途当日喺十字架下面听住耶稣讲：看，这是你的母亲。咁耶稣亦都喺十字架上诶临终嘅时候咧，拣咗圣母做我哋成个教会同埋每一个门徒嘅母亲，因为佢知道我哋会好容易离弃佢，好容易怀疑佢。同埋可能好多時候我哋跌倒嘅時候，會覺得唔知道會唔會可以再翻去天主嘅懷抱，對天主再寬恕我哋，或者對天主可能會懲罰我哋嘅公義咧，好大嘅掙扎。但係聖母就係因為佢喺呢個希望嘅誒時時都站喺十字架下嗰度，知道耶穌嘅復活，佢嘅拯救係無條件同埋絕對嘅。咁所以聖母係可以好大力咁幫助我哋去帶我哋去耶穌嗰度，獻身於聖母就係去。信賴聖母係會幫到我哋，無論我哋誒經歷啲乜嘢，佢都可以幫我哋走近耶穌。咁佢更加咧就係堅強咗我自己對，即係嗰種做法。譬如我念玫瑰經，我就會知道玫瑰經係帶我去天主度，個中心咧係耶穌，都係耶穌，我哋係冇走歪。為咗能夠凝聚一班志同道合、願意獻身聖母、成為佢工具嘅人，聖高比喺一九一七年嘅十月。成立咗無原罪聖母軍團。Here you see a mosaic of the actual day of the founding of the MI in Rome, October 16, 1917. Seven friars、uh, gathered in a cell with the permission of the rector, with the statue of Our Lady and the little.、Uh, Charter that Maximilian had and written for the MI is、uh, was a little piece of paper this big, <laughs> one eighth of a sheet of paper, where he drafted the goal and the conditions and the means for this movement, which would engage in、uh, global evangelization through the mediation of Our Lady. From that day, it took seven members of the Sainted Heart to the present day, to the present day, to the present day. 无原罪圣母军团 （Militia Immaculata） 已经发展成为一个国际性嘅组织，会员超过三百万。Well, Maximilian envisioned my members to be present everywhere, in every field of society, in the in school, in the scientific world, in the art work, and there are members who, in fact, are present and everywhere, like Levin. And sold within society, people of all walks of life may be part of the MI: priests and religious, lay people, married and single, or elderly,、uh, young people.、Uh, membership is for Catholics only, but the MI encourages everyone to enter into a relationship with Our Lady, which on, on many occasions led people to embrace the Catholic、uh, faith. 喺圣高比嘅心目中，以最短嘅时间令最多人去归依天主，系一件最重要嘅事。为咗达到呢个目的，佢决定要好好利用媒体嘅力量。咁我相信，如果佢佢今日佢系佢再生于今日咧，佢就唔单止会用印刷，会去上网，会用好多嘅 apps 啊，好多嘅方法。佢基本上就系想用所有诶传媒嘅方法
，用所有可以吸引到人嘅方法，去将天主嘅信息传俾人。而因为佢知道圣母系最有效嘅方法咧，咁所以当佢成立咗诶呢个 m i l i t i a r Immaculata 嘅时候咧，佢就开始印呢一个叫做 Knights of the Immaculate 啊呢一个诶，切开门罪圣母骑士呢一个杂志。Provincial had given him permission to go ahead, but said, "You have to raise your own money. The province has no money to supply." He went begging in the city, and at one point, he had enough money to to start. But five thousand、uh, Polish marks were lacking for to pay the first bill for the first tissue, and he went to the the chapel. To, by the altar of Our Lady to pray again and to say, "Well, I ask forgiveness for having been too presumptuous to start something so、uh, big with no means." And sure enough, by the feet of the、uh, the statue of Our Lady, there was a little envelope with written "For you, Immaculate Mother," and inside there was a poem dedicated to Our Lady, anonymously written. And five thousand Polish marks, the exact amount that he needed to pay the bill for the first issue, and with that he started this printing apostolate. 喺短短五年间，无原罪圣母骑士杂志积累咗七万名读者。圣高比所属位于格罗德洛嘅会院已经不足以容纳佢哋越嚟越多嘅印刷机同埋接收更多嘅会士。喺欠缺经费买地嘅时候。圣高比再次奇迹咁样揾到援助 ，Juski Lubiski 王子愿意捐出一块地理位置相当理想嘅土地，俾圣高比兴建新嘅会院。喺一九二七年，圣高比喺波兰嘅华沙附近兴建咗无原罪圣母之城。佢同一班方济住院会士喺嗰度以祈祷、简朴嘅生活，同埋以媒体复传工作，完全献身于圣母。He called it city because it's actually really large property. The friars were, quote unquote, self-sufficient, producing. They had their own carpentry, tailor shop, the dentist, the a little hospital. As the community grew, they were also developing everything in order to function. In addition, they even had, as you see here, a fire department. Uh, because being a publishing house, they had to storage lots and lots of paper, and the buildings were done were wood. So the greatest damage would be fire. So they thought to establish a fire department, but they would also serve the people in the neighborhood. And to this day, at Nepokalanov, there is a fire department. 时至今日。波兰嘅无原罪圣母之城依然有消防队，邻近嘅居民遇上火警都会向呢啲熄救火嘅方济会士求助。No friar has ever been deadly hurt in the rescue operations they have been engaged, and I was told that when some fires were very serious and they they felt that death was possibly involved. For people, they would call the friars to go because there was always a priest in the crew to make sure he would be there to administer the last sacraments to the dying in case of need. So, but you see here, Maximilian, during a break, having a cup of tea <laughs> with these friars. 喺之后几年，华沙嘅无原罪圣母之城嘅运作渐渐上咗轨道。当时嘅教宗庇护十一世对整个教会作出呼吁，再次燃起圣高比去远方传福音嘅心火。And he said, "Be generous, send missionaries, because there is a need of bringing Christ to all people." Maximilian heard that call very strongly, both being a Franciscan and because of his dedication to Our Lady and her mission. And so he requested his superior to、uh, to go to the Far East to Japan. In 1930, Saint Paul was in complete Japanese language. He went to Japan for a long time. He published the Saint Paul Catechism. In one year, he built the Catholic Cathedral. 
，叫做无原罪，圣母原。喺圣高比同一班会士嘅努力之下，日文版嘅《无原罪圣母骑士》杂志成为咗日本最大型嘅天主教刊物。喺三年间，发行量已经到达五万本。但系更特别嘅系佢哋兴建嘅修院《无原罪圣母园》喺一九三一年落成，而圣高比喺一九四一年殉道。冇人能够预计呢一座修院竟然会喺一九四五年第二次世界大战里面。日本长期被投掷原子弹嘅时候，发挥咗重大嘅作用。咁喺长期诶为圣母去建立呢一个修院啦，亦都圣母安排咗去诶好奇迹地竟然起咗呢个修院喺一座山嘅后边，虽然系离开市区都诶比较远，系一个好唔方便嘅地方。但系正正因为咁，所以诶投掷呢个原子弹嘅时候咧，诶佢哋嘅修院系其其中好少建筑物之中嘅一座。系冇被毀壞，而嗰度嘅收視咧就可以好快咧就幫助、呃、之後原子彈爆炸之後嘅人去幫助佢哋誒喺痛苦之中咧誒賜予佢哋慰藉同埋輔助。聖高比希望喺地球上七大洲都有無原罪聖母之城。喺一九四八年，放制住院會士為佢承繼咗呢個位置，喺呢一度興建咗 Mary Town。呢一度系继喺波兰同埋日本之后，第三座兴建嘅无原罪圣母之城。圣高比穷尽一生嘅精力，用唔同途径，希望令最多嘅人认识天主。但系佢生命里面最后嘅日子，同埋佢嘅殉道，先至系最能够触动人心嘅。想知道圣高比点样喺第二次世界大战期间，纳粹集中营里面为人带来爱同埋希望，请唔好错过下一集嘅爱上传。喺二次世界大战期间嘅集中营里面，一位神父为咗保存另外一个人嘅生命，甘心拎自己嘅生命作交换。圣高比佢企出嚟为咗呢一个人嘅死，透过救咗呢一个人，啊令到成个世界知道，无论呢、这个诶、呃、我哋身边嘅黑暗同埋痛苦有几多，系仍然系可以用爱去回应。呢、这、一个星期嘅爱上传，带大家睇下圣高比点样喺集中营呢一个人间地狱里面，为人带嚟爱同埋希望。睇完呢一集《爱常传》，欢迎大家打我哋嘅热线电话嚟分享一下你嘅感受或者故事。同时，亦请收听我哋逢星期六嘅电台节目《爱生命》。要购买天主教书籍同信仰灵修礼品，请嚟我哋嘅生命恩泉书社参观选购。我哋下星期同样时间再见，天主保佑。